our forecast through 9 a.m. will be temperatures in the mid 70s. And then at noon, you see the wind start picking up from the south, gusting to 25 miles an hour. We do have a chance of rain during the day, but currently the daytime rain chances are high in the morning, 60% chance, but then during the afternoon, they drop down 20 to 30%. And then at nine o'clock, they go back up again, and then it's about 100% overnight and early tomorrow morning. There's a couple areas that we're watching. There's a tropical connection to this rain you see coming out of Oklahoma, and then we have a front approaching from the north. So we've got this tropical moisture. You can feel it when you go outside. It's really muggy. Dew points are in the 70s. And then we have a front that comes in. So the two together are going to work to kind of make this potion that just brings lots of rain for Kansas City overnight and during the morning tomorrow. Future scan shows our rain today is light and spotty during the day. There will be an area of heavy rain that passes to our south. That's kind of the remnants of Imelda passing by. And now you can see the outline of our cold front approaching from the north. And along that front is where the stronger storms will be. And this line of storms may produce some severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center circles this area, gives it a slight risk. That's a two on a scale from one to five. It is on the lower side, but it is something that we still have to monitor because those storms could produce wind gusts over 58 miles an hour, large hail, isolated tornadoes. So we don't want to let our guard down by any means. We'll watch those for you. You may hear some severe thunderstorm warnings being issued as this line comes in. Let me pick future scan back up. We're approaching midnight and when these storms arrive in Kansas City, they lose their severe elements, but they still are efficient rainmakers. We are looking at torrential rains through the morning. And that means tailgating. And then during the game, there we are at noon, start of the game, it looks like it's just going to pour, but the motion is to move it out. So there is the possibility that this could pick up speed and be moved out by the time the game is maybe midway through, we can hope, plan for it to rain the whole game and be pleasantly surprised if it indeed stopped raining. We have heavy rain and storms for sure during tailgating, uh, at least a couple of I'd give it a 50% chance of rain during kickoff and then tapering off perhaps by the end of the game. So your red ponchos, your red towels, if you get the chance to use them to dry off the seats might be a great idea. And just a reminder, if you are tailgating out at Arrowhead tomorrow morning, there's two weather concerns. One would be flash flooding on your way to Arrowhead and back. The other would be lightning while you're standing out in the field or standing out in the parking lot. Just remember a building is a much better place to be if there's lightning. If you can't get to a building yet, go back to your parked car until the lightning has passed by. And if you're driving and flash flooding is a concern, always turn around, don't drown.